Hello everyone. In this video, I will introduce my new add-on, Align Pro, Axis and Normal. I'll cover its core functions, ideas, and broad functionality. The add-on consists of three blocks, equal spacing tools, normal alignment tools, and axis alignment tools. We will explore them sequentially, beginning with axis alignment tools to understand the tasks it accomplishes. Let's activate one of its modes by selecting Active. This mode aligns objects relative to another object that has an active selection. Moving forward, we will refer to this actively selected object as the target object. The objects that we are going to attract will be referred to as current objects. Let's select three objects and then highlight the last 1A yellow cube which will become our target. We now have the ability to choose which part of the current object we will use to attract it to the target and to which part of the target object it will be attracted. Here, we can select minimum, center, pivot point, or maximum. It's important to remember that centers here refer not to the geometric centers, but to the bounding box centers. Keep this in mind when working with the add-on. To start, let's try aligning the objects by their centers to the center of the target object, along the x-axis. The alignment has occurred. We'll press Cancel. Now, let's look at this, we'll select the minimum of the current objects and align them to the minimum along the x-axis. Now we can see how the current objects have aligned their minimums to the center of the target. We can modify this, we can set it so the maximums are aligned to the center of the target, so the maximum is aligned to the minimum of the target, or so they are aligned to the center or pivot point. The choice is yours. Right now there is no difference, since the pivot point is located in the center of the bounding box. And of course, we can select alignment to the maximum. Next, let's examine the Thaline Orientation block, which works on a similar principle. It aligns the local orientation of objects relative to the target. We can also choose the axis along which the alignment will occur. Let's apply a random rotation, choose a target object, and state that we wish to apply a local orientation. We'll define the axis along which the current objects will align their orientation relative to the target. Next, without deselecting the objects, we can assign the dimensions of the current objects to be the same as the target object. We can specify the axis along which this change will occur. The add-on has now aligned the objects. We'll press Supply and observe that all our objects have taken on the necessary orientation and dimensions of the current object. Let's consider the next mode, Origin. Here, we can attract objects to the scene's origin, which is located at the center of the world coordinates. We can also specify that they will align by their minimums, centers, pivot points, or maximums. The next mode is Align to Cursor. We can now simply place the cursor anywhere in the scene. Select whether we want to align the object along the X, Y, or Z axis. The object will align its center to the center of the cursor. The following mode is Alignment to the Floor. We'll take our objects and enable the Z-axis. The objects are now aligned to the floor by their centers. But we can choose to align them by their minimums, and then all the objects will align to the zero coordinate on the Z-axis. Now, let's switch to normal alignment tools. Activate the add-on, click on an object, and a point with a vector will appear, awaiting the next click. Click it, and the object will be attracted to the target object. Once that's done, we have the ability to relocate the object along its local coordinates. We also have an angle button to rotate around the vector and a flip normal button to flip the object. Before we take a look at the Equal Spacing Tools block, let's organize our scene. 
Select all of the objects and attract them to the floor. Apply a line orientation to them relative to the target, then press Apply. Let's align them to the target along the x-axis by their centers, then press Apply, and then let's also attract them to the floor by their minimums. Now, we are ready to go to the Equal Spacing tools. Select the object in the center, activate Equal Spacing, select the objects, choose the y-axis, and assign a distance of 5 between them. We can assign the distance not between the centers, but between the bounding boxes. Activate the y-axis, set the value to 0, and we will see how the objects have aligned their bounding boxes to each other. If we increase this value, then the distance will be calculated between the bounding box sizes. We also have the ability to align objects by their minimum, maximum, center, and pivot point. We can work in three coordinates. We set values for the distances between the centers along the y-axis, then we include the z-axis, and finally the x-axis. I hope this add-on proves helpful in your work and that you'll find it a valuable tool. Don't subscribe to the channel and don't follow the link to the add-on in the video description. Happy modeling in Blender!